hi everyone welcome to this session so today we will be solving this interesting uh, interview question and this question can be asked in your online assessment test okay so basically this is a rc based circuit uh, with a switch and we have two cases when this load is a current source ideal current source and when the load is a resistance okay and the current like this sink current value is uh, 0 0.1 ampere and uh, the resistor value is r on okay when this is a uh, resistive load we have to draw the let's say this is plus and this is minus let's say v uh, n1 n2 okay so we have, we have to plot this v n on n2 with respect to time eh, for these two cases okay so let's start so first thing uh, how we go for the solution this is the question okay so let's uh, take this case first okay so we can see that and the switch is closed at t equals 5 second okay so let me draw the graph here okay so let's say this is 5 second eh? okay and this is our v in 1 in 2 okay and this is our t now for the first case so if i redraw the circuit this will be looking like this so we are assuming now t is less than t is less than or very very less than 5 second okay less than 5 second so less than 5 seconds so switch is open right so this will be open circuit so there is no current flowing right in this branch because the current source is like inactive we can say and there is a voltage source and this is our n1 this is our n2 so we can see that there is no current flow right so so there will be no voltage drop across uh, across this resistance and there is no charging of this capacitor right because the current is zero right so and we we assume that cap is cap is initially initially uncharged okay uncharged so the vc of zero minus was zero okay so we can see that so this is our v this is plus this is minus so there is no voltage drop so this potential remain at this and this v plus comes in this node right v so v out like v v n on n2 remains v on v right when the time less than 5 seconds right because there is no voltage drop right so this will be short circuit this will be short circuit and this will be short circuit as the initial is the capacitor is initially answered so the circuit simply becomes this okay so this is our n on this is our n2 and this is our v so circuit becomes this okay so our v n on n2 becomes v okay so we have find that at t less than 5 second our output is v itself okay so this is the v okay now we have to assume like we have to check at t equals 5 second plus okay so let's say t equals 5 second plus just just the switch is closed so we know that if the switch is closed the circuit feels an infinite frequency so the capacitor becomes short circuited okay so what will be the picture so if the capacitor becomes short circuited so this will be like this right and there is a finite current of 0 0.1 amps and there is a voltage of v so this will be our equivalent circuit right this is our r naught this is our r2 so we can see that r2 is out of the picture because uh, uh, like across r2 there is a short circuited path okay so what will be our vn vn on n2 so this is our n2 and this is our n1 right so we can see that the equivalent circuit becomes this this is our r naught so how will be the voltage drop across this so this is v and this is let's say 0 0.1 amps right so if we direct uh, apply the K, KCL, kcl or kvl whatever it is so our v a non n2 becomes v minus 0 0.1 current into this r naught right so this is the voltage across these two nodes right so actually just i applied a kvl so v will be nothing but i into r naught plus 
V A non N T. Okay, so this this I have just applied. So we can see that, and uh, here we can see that the output will uh, like change instantly, right? The output will can change instantly because the capacitor is short circuited. We know the only the capacitor voltage cannot change instantly, but any other element like resistor, current source across it, the voltage can change instantly. Okay, so basically we we have seen that the voltage becomes lower, right? V minus this quantity, right? This quantity. So let's say it it drop to this voltage. Let's say this. So this is nothing but V minus 0.1 into R0, right? Now what happens after that? Now taking T is very very greater than five second. Okay, it means the steady state. We can say that, right? Steady state. So steady state, the circuit feels a frequency of zero, right? And the capacitor is capacitor is open circuit, right? Now what will be the picture? So there is a R not. So the capacitor is open circuit now, and there is a this is R not. This is I guess R two. right okay let me check uh, this is r2 and there is a constant current flowing constant current source of 0.1 amps okay so this will be our equivalent picture as steady state okay now what can we say so similarly we can find this v v a non n2 is nothing but simply we can apply the kcl or kvl so this becomes this becomes uh, V n one n two becomes nothing but V minus zero point one times R not plus R two, right? And this this voltage is lower than the previous case, right? Because this there they like previously there was R not its only, but here we have R not and R two, okay? And R not plus R two is greater than R not, right? So this voltage is lower than the previous case, right? Like this voltage, the steady state voltage is Lower than this voltage. Now let's say this voltage is like this. Okay, so here let's say this is our V minus 0.1 times R not plus R. Okay, so this is the final steady state voltage. Now question is what will be the nature at this time duration? Will that be like sudden jump or exponential exponential decaying or or it, it is decaying right? So exponential decaying decaying or a ramping decaying right? we can see that in this circuit there is not present any infinite current right so the capacitor cannot cannot like charge suddenly okay the voltage across the capacitor the voltage across the capacitor cannot change suddenly okay and we can see that uh, the like through the capacitor the current is also not constant right this this current is constant 0.1 but due to the frequency like when the times increases the capacitive impedance also increases right so if the capacitive increases like capacitive impedance increases so the current through the capacitor is also decreasing right so there is not a constant current flowing through the capacitor so the capacitor will charge exponentially right so the capacitor will charge exponentially so if this capacitor is charging exponentially and this voltage is fixed so this voltage must go down exponentially so the kvl is satisfied right actually i am telling vc is charging vc is charging exponentially okay now vc is nothing but v minus v a non n2 right so now if this this is like exponentially increasing and this voltage is fixed so this voltage must be decaying exponentially okay so the kvl is satisfied so basically in this time period the like this capacitor is charging exponentially so this v out is discharging exponentially like the voltage across this two node is exponentially decaying okay so this will be the final waveform okay so this is a very good circuit okay now what is the slope so here the time constant what will be the time constant here okay let me do that so here time constant what we do for finding time constant for for, for finding time constant we we remove all the all the we all depend independent sources independent sources are inactive right so the voltage source is short circuited and current source is open circuited so this is short circuit 
there is R not, there is C, and there is R2, right? And this will be open circuited as a current source, right? So now we have to find what is the equivalent capacitance here and what is the equivalent resistance across the capacitance, right? So we can see that there is capacitance, equivalent capacitance is nothing but C only, right? There is only C. Now what is the what is the resistance present across here? So this node and this node, right? So there we can see that there is R2 only, okay? So R equivalent is nothing but R2 only. We can also assume that because like this is not come in the, into the picture because there is no path, okay? So we can assume uh, like if, if this is a path, okay, this is a path, close path. So R2 parallel R0 plus infinity, right? So this is R, R2 itself, right? Like the, the equivalent uh, resistance across this capacitor is nothing but the resistance present in this node A and in this node B. Okay. So the equivalent resistance across AB is nothing but R2. It's like R2 only, right? So the time constant is nothing but C into R2. Okay. So this is the time constant. This is okay, right? Now for the case 2. So now we have the similar case, but we have a resistance of R. Okay, R1. So let me draw the picture again. So similar the analysis becomes same, right? At T, at T less than 5 second, at T less than 5 second, our V out like V n on n2, V n on n2 nothing but our V, right? Same case, right? There is a no current flowing through the branch, so there is no drop. So all all this becomes a short circuit. So this voltage appears here, and this voltage appears here, right? So this is V. So V uh, like the V n on n two will be V, uh, like V V only. Okay. Now after like at t equals five five plus five second plus. So circuit like the capacitor will be short circuit, right? So the picture will be same, looking like this. right so we can see that <coughs> this is r not so what is the potential across it so this is we can apply directly the cap, like voltage divider voltage division right so our v n on n2 is nothing but uh, r not like oh, this is r1 okay so r1 divided by r1 plus r not into v okay so so this voltage is lower than this v okay so it will let's add 5 second this voltage is v times R1 divided by R1 plus R0, okay. And the voltage jump like jumps suddenly to the this this lower voltage, right? Because the uh, like the voltage across the resistance can change instantly, okay. So let's say this is the value. Now at steady state, capacitor capacitor will act as a open circuit. We all know, right? So what will be the picture? The picture will be same. So this is open circuit. And this becomes R2, this is R0, and this is now what will be the V out here? Like V N1, N2. What will be the case? So we can see that there is there is again a voltage division, right? So nothing but so V N1 N2 will be nothing but R1 times r1 plus r2 plus r0 times v okay so this is the steady state okay so this is the steady state voltage so this is uh, lower than the previous case so let's say this is the steady state voltage so this is nothing but v times r1 divided by r1 plus r2 plus r0 okay so this is the steady state now question is uh, what will be the slope so again there will be a capacitor of exponential charging so this will be the V N on N2 will be exponentially decaying. Okay. So this will be like this. But here the question is what is the time constant? Okay. So in this case, the time constant is always find at steady state, right? So we can see. So at steady state, we have to find the total equivalent resistance and total equivalent capacitance. Okay. And making all the independent sources inactive. So the circuit becomes this, right?
so this is short circuited right this is r not this is c this is r2 this is r1 okay and the voltage source is short circuited so you can see that c equivalent is nothing but c and the r equivalent is nothing but r2 parallel r not plus r1 okay so this is the time constant so time constant will be nothing but c into r2 parallel r not plus r1 okay so this is the answer okay so this is a very good circuit okay and this, this will build your intuition uh, like in a more like general way okay so this is a very good circuit according to me so you can look at it okay try to solve by yourself then you can check my solution okay so for these two cases the time constant is different but the waveform the nature of the waveform is same okay the nature of the waveform is same okay you can see that nature of the waveform is same okay so thank you everyone please put your valuable uh, feedbacks thank you